hello friends welcome to Damo education if you not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss we are going to find how to find the slope of the line so the line joining two coordinates the line passes through the two coordinates or whatever line segment joined by two coordinates whatever it is so we have to find the slope of the line so slope is nothing but the change in y and change in x slope will be constant at any time if you extend that line also if it is a straight line don't forget about straight line so straight line slope so we are going to calculate what is the slope of this so first of all we have to write what is the slope formula so slope of straight line change in y and change in x that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 if it is a x like this slope let's going to take this is the horizon so 0 comma 0 let's going to take this is x1 y1 let's going to take this is x2 y2 so what is the slope for this the slope term will be you can take this is the slope so always this is the slope calculation what is the change in y and change in x so this is the slope for this straight line so this is line so that is the formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 for the straight line so first one what is that first one x1 y1 is equals to 4 comma minus 8 and x2 y2 is equal to 5 comma minus 2 5 comma minus 2 so what is the slope here for this slope will be equal to y2 minus y1 by change in y x2 minus x1 so what is that let's going to take y2 is what minus 2 minus of minus y1 by x2 minus x1 x2 is what 5 minus 4 we will get minus 2 plus 8 by 5 minus 4 1 so plus into minus into minus will become plus so that is 6 by 1 that will be equal to 6 so what is the value of slope for first one 6 then what is second one x2 y so sorry x1 y1 is equals to 0 comma 0 then x2 y2 will be equal to root 3 comma 3 root 3 comma 3 so slope will be equal to what is that y2 minus y1 so let's going to write or write we are already written here y2 minus y1 that is 3 minus 0 whole divided by root 3 minus 0 so 3 by root 3 what value going to rationalize this one so with the denominator 3 by root 3 into root 3 by 3 root 3 so if you cancel root 3 root 3 we will get the one only so 3 root 3 by root 3 whole square 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 root will going to cancel 3 root 3 by 3 3 3 will going to cancel then what is the value root 3 what is the slope for second one root 3 then what is the third one so third one is x1 y1 that will be equal to 2a 3b 2a 3b and what is x2 y2 so x2 y2 will be equal to a comma minus b so slope that will be equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so here y2 is what minus b y1 is what 3b whole divided by x2 is what a minus x1 is what minus 2a so we will get here minus b minus 3b minus 4b by what you can get it so so what is the value here so this is the a minus 2a minus k minus a minus minus will going to cancel minus that is 4b by a or 4b by a whatever it is we will get like this then fourth one x1 y1 equal to a comma 0 then x2 y2 will be equal to 0 comma b so what is the slope actually we know that slope will be equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so y2 is what here b minus y1 is 0 then what is x2 0 minus a so b minus 0 that is minus a minus b by a so 0 minus a will become minus a and b minus 0 will become b that is minus b by a so these are the values of the slopes for first four so 
slope formula is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and fifth one sixth one seventh eighth questions so here what are the a b x1 and y1 let's going to write it here first fourth one fifth one sorry x1 y1 will be equal to a of minus 1.4 comma minus 3.7 then x2 y2 is equals to b of let's going to take minus 2.4 comma 1.3 so what is the slope so slope will be equal to what is the slope here that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so let's going to write y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so y2 is what here 1.3 minus y1 is what minus of 3.7 whole divided by what is that next one x2 minus x1 that is minus 2.4 minus of minus 1.4 so 1.3 minus 3.7 whole divided by minus 2.4 plus 1.4 so 1.3 and 3.7 so let's going to add what is this 3 1 that is 4 then 3 7 that is 10 it will become 1 so 4 5 so 5 by so what value will get it here minus 2.4 1.4 4 4 is 0 so it will become 5.0 4 4 subtraction right 0 0.2 minus 1 1.5 that is 5 what is the that is 5 then what is the second one so second one will be equal to let's going to take second x1 y1 will be equal to 3 comma minus 2 then x2 y2 minus 6 minus 2 minus 6 minus 2 so what is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 slope will be equal to that is y2 minus y1 y2 is what minus 2 minus 1 is what then x2 minus x1 minus 6 minus 3 so minus 2 plus 2 whole divided by minus 6 minus 3 it will become minus 9 so plus 2 minus 2 will going to cancel 0 by minus 9 it will be 0 so whatever the slope here 0 so actually here 3 minus 2 minus 6 minus 2 so y2 minus y1 minus 2 minus plus 2 it will become 0 whatever the remaining calculations so next one third so here sorry this is sixth one then what is seventh one so what is that here x1 y1 will be equal to x1 y1 is equals to minus 3 1 by 2 minus 3 1 by 2 comma 3 then what is the x2 y2 so x2 y2 will be equal to minus 7 2 1 by 2 minus 7 2 1 by 2 so what is the slope so slope will be equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so what is y2 here 2 1 by 2 minus y1 is what 3 whole divided by x2 minus x1 x2 is what minus 7 minus of minus 3 1 by 2 so minus of minus 3 1 by 2 so here what is this this is there in a mixer fraction we have to convert it into what is that proper fraction so 2 into 2 4 4 plus 1 so this value how to convert 2 into 2 plus 1 you should do 4 plus 5 by 2 minus 3 whole divided by what value we are getting here minus 7 plus 3 1 by 2 let's going to simplify lcm let's going to take 2 so 5 2 so 5 minus 3 2 is a here 1 is there for that 3 into 2 we should do we are taking lcm whole divided by minus 7 plus 3 1 by 2 is what 2 3 is a 6 plus 7 by 2 7 by 2 so that value will be 5 minus 6 by 2 whole divided by so minus 7 minus 7 into 2 plus 7 by 2 so here what is the values here what values here take an lcm and multiplying that's all so 5 minus 6 will be minus 1 by 2 whole divided by so minus 2 7 2 sum 7 2 is a 14 plus 7 by 2 so here we will get minus 1 by 2 whole divided by minus 14 plus 7 it will be minus 7 by 2 here reciprocal minus 1 by 2 into 2 by 7 minus so here 2 2 will going to cancel minus into minus will become plus then 1 by 7 so what is the slope here 1 by 7 
next last one eighth one what is that x1 y1 will be equal to 0 comma 4 and x2 y2 will be equal to 4 comma 0 so what is the slope here that is slope will be equal to x2 minus y2 minus y1 by by x2 minus x1 so y2 minus y1 y2 is 0 minus y1 is what 4 y2 minus then x2 4 minus 0 so what is the value here x2 minus x1 minus 4 by 4 so 4 4 the minus 1 so what is the value minus 1 eighth one is what minus 1 thanks for watching please subscribe